This is not an easy task, but making your guinea pig happy can help them live longer. Therefore, in this two-part series, I will show you 10 amazing facts about them and how to stimulate, reduce their stress levels, and keep your guinea pigs with you for many years. I will cover how to make their living habitat feel safe and secure, and how you can keep them nice and clean. Without further ado, let's start with part one of this series. Your guinea pigs enjoy your voice. There are two kinds of guinea pig owners in this world, those who take care of them, and those who also talk to them while taking care of them. Guinea pigs are social animals and enjoy interacting with humans. Take the time to talk to your guinea pigs. They may not understand a word of what you're saying, but they will appreciate hearing your voice. Talking to your guinea pig regularly not only helps to create a strong bond with you, but it is also beneficial for reducing your own stress level. This is because guinea pigs are excellent emotional support pets. Scientific studies have found that they are particularly beneficial for children on the autism spectrum, as they serve as a social buffer and help in learning about empathy and responsibility. Their calming effect helps lower stress levels. Even some people with post-traumatic stress disorder like veteran and trauma survivors find comfort by being in contact with those little furry balls. Always remember, each guinea pig is unique, and understanding their specific needs and behaviors is key for successful bonding. Guinea pigs are curious. I wish someone had told me sooner that guinea pigs are curious animals and that their natural seeking skills need to be stimulated. Playing hide-and-seek games with your guinea pig is a great way to keep them active and engaged. By hiding treats and pieces of their favorite veggies, you will encourage them to use their seeking skills. Guinea pigs are rodents that were once wild animals before becoming our pets. As a result, they are always on the lookout for food. As recommended by the scientific animal researcher Temple Grandin, encouraging the development of their seeking skills will stimulate them, keep them active, and provide them with some form of happiness. You can easily play hide and seek with your pet during their mealtime or when you're petting them. When you bring their food, they will eagerly jump on the plate as if they were starving for weeks. Take this opportunity to hide some pieces of veggies around their cage. You can place them on top of their hiding spot, inside their tunnel, next to their water bottle, or near the haystack. They will be so excited to discover those hidden little extra food bites that it will become a habit. Some piggies will even start looking at your favorite hiding spot when you bring them food. Next time you feed them, try that and let me know if your guinea pigs enjoy the treasure hunt. They need to hide. Guinea pigs should not be left out in the open all the time. This is because it can make them more stressed and will shorten their life expectancy. Guinea pigs need to have a place to hide to get some alone time. It is a normal behavior and will allow them to relax and feel more secure. As a rodent animal in the wild, they used to burrow and find little spots to hide themselves from potential predators. Even though our lovely guinea pigs are domesticated and can even fall asleep in the middle of their cage, they are always on the lookout and get scared easily. They will jump and run whenever they hear loud or strange noises. To help them feel safe and happy, you should provide them with at least one hiding spot per guinea pig. Those blankets with a pocket are good, but they will also enjoy something of their own. There is a variety available on the market for them, such as wooden tunnels, plastic or wooden houses, or even a mini castle. There is also the corner fleece forest and the mini hammock. Before getting one from the pet store, try to find some handmade by other guinea pig owners and make sure they are safe for them. If you are on a budget or you want to make a simple gift for a guinea pig owner, you can even make your own using cardboard. If you use a cardboard box, make sure there is no plastic film or tape on it because your piggies will chew on it. Also, don't forget to remove the bottom because they won't be shy to relieve themselves in the comfort of their new home. Guinea pigs need to be groomed. Regular grooming of your guinea pig will not only keep them clean and comfortable, but it will also make them feel happier. Not every guinea pig enjoys being brushed or having their nails cut. Always listen to your little furry pet to know their limits. Grooming your guinea pig is important for keeping them clean and healthy. It involves brushing their fur, trimming their nails, and providing them with hay and chew toys to keep their teeth healthy. Grooming also helps you check if they're sick or if anything has changed with their appearance. Taking care of your guinea pig's grooming needs helps them stay happy and prevents health problems. Grooming your guinea pig is like giving them a special spa treatment. It's a way to show them love and care. 
When you groom your guinea pig, you spend quality time together and make them feel good. It's like having a special playtime. Grooming is important because it keeps your guinea pig clean and smelling nice. It also helps prevent any yucky smells in their home. If your guinea pig has long hair, grooming is even more important to keep them looking their best. So, when you groom your guinea pig, remember that it's not just about making them look pretty, but also about keeping them happy and healthy. Regularly trimming a guinea pig's nails is really important for their health and ability to move around. Guinea pig nails keep growing all the time, and if they get too long, it can cause problems with their feet, make them less active, and even lead to health issues like gaining too much weight. To trim their nails, it is strongly recommended to use nail clippers made for pets. When trimming their nails, do not rush yourself to avoid injuries and take your time. Some people will wrap their piggy in a blanket. Personally, the one that works the best is when my partner covers their eyes with one hand while I cut the nails. If your piggy is struggling after one or two paws, don't worry, you can finish it another day. As mentioned earlier, each guinea pig will react differently when being brushed or having their nails trimmed. It's important to recognize the signs that indicate they want you to stop. After you're done, give them a treat as a reward. This will enable them to associate a positive experience with grooming time. They need lots of space. Ever wonder what size a guinea pig cage should be? A guinea pig needs a big cage, so they have lots of space to move around, play, and rest. If their cage is too small, they can get stressed and have health problems. It's recommended to have a cage that is at least 6 to 8 square feet for two guinea pigs. For each extra guinea pig, you should add three more square feet. For example, if you have four guinea pigs, you would need a cage that is about 15 square feet, like a 4x4 four four or 3x5 cage made with grids and connectors. With a spacious cage, your guinea pig will have lots of room to explore and play. You can add special places for them to hide and fun toys for them to enjoy. They will love moving around and switching between their hiding spots and tunnels. Having a big enough cage also makes it easier for you to clean and helps prevent your guinea pigs from sleeping in their droppings. Maintaining a clean cage is very important for keeping guinea pigs happy and healthy. When their living environment is clean, it helps prevent them from getting sick with respiratory infections and bumblefoot, which can be serious health issues. It's recommended to clean the cage thoroughly once a week and do some quick cleaning every day, depending on how many guinea pigs you have and how big the cage is. It's also important to keep the cage well ventilated and free from too much stuffed soiled hay and bedding. Usually, after one week, it's important to clean the guinea pig's cage very well. If you can, put your guinea pigs in a special area in another room with their water, food, places to hide, and toys. Take your time to remove all the bedding and clean the bottom of the cage using a cleaning product that is safe for pets and not too strong. Avoid using products that are usually used in the bathroom because guinea pigs can be very sensitive to strong smells and chemicals. After cleaning the cage, it is an excellent moment to spend some quality time with your guinea pig in their playpen. This is a great opportunity to bond with them and engage in fun activities together. Let me know in the comment how you make your guinea pigs happy. If you like this video and want to support this channel, just watch one of my other videos or share it with a friend who own guinea pigs. Thank you for watching and remember, if you've made it that far, you're an awesome guinea pig owner.